Hi, I'm Larusi. I'm a singer-songwriter and you're watching The Chandria Show. Larusi, singer-songwriter, I am a fan. Can I tell you? How long have you been performing? Please tell me. Oh, ever since I was little, Chandria, <laughs> I was like, uh, you know, I was somehow, I knew that I wanted to become a singer and mm -hmm. ever since I got the opportunity to get on the stage, I went for it. Wow. wow. I was raised in the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. and my mom is Dutch and my father is from Morocco. Beautiful so I lineage. Grew up in two cultures. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I used to visit the family every year in Morocco. <laughs> and then basically three years ago I left my country. Left everybody behind. My friends, my family, <laughs> my <laughs> career, and I just started all over. To pursue your dreams. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you are well on your way. So let's talk about the new single that you have. Tell me more about it and we'll inspire you to write it. Uh, Lost is basically a song, I, I think a lot of people can relate to it mm -hmm. because it's really about fighting your inner demons when you're going through a rough time in your life. And you have lots of insecurities. Mm -hmm. And basically you're trying to battle your mind and you're basically lost in it. Mm -hmm. That's what the song is about. And you know, the last three years were weren't very easy for me to adapt, you know, leaving everything behind, starting all over. The insecurities that I had to go through. Um, so when we started writing the song, um, it was it became very natural to me that that this song just became instantly one of my babies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's actually the only song that, that I mm -hmm. I didn't write on the album. So okay. It was written by Philip Lawrence. Oh, awesome. Brody Brown, mm -hmm. Lush, and Davey Nathan. Okay. But I I just I just feel so much with the lyrics. Mm -hmm. So it speaks to you, resonated with you. Yeah, it resonates with It's like they wrote the song like perfectly for you, is how yeah. it feels. Yeah, definitely. definitely. I get lost sometimes. Lost inside of my mind. I can't explain all these lonely thoughts in my brain, but I still get lost sometimes. I get Okay. So that was exciting. I was kind of was kind of nervous to be on the stage again after three years like working in the studio day and night. But it was great. It was for me it was like it's it's very different to be in the United States to perform, to talk English. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, my main language is Dutch. Had you spoken English? Um, three years ago before moving here? Not really, like okay. like this. But well, you were doing so well. <laughs> wow, congratulations. Thank you. Definitely congratulations is in order. So, I mean, what, how do you describe your sound of your music? I would say um, it's pop music with a little bit of Arab music mm -hmm. in it. Like I said, I, was, I, I grew up with my Moroccan father, so he and my mom, they used to play Michael Jackson in the house, Whitney Houston, okay. Queen. And then there was the, the Arabic side, uh, Fayrouz, and Kutsu. Those are like you know, mega stars. Those are okay. mega stars okay. in the Middle East. <laughs> so when I when I became a singer, I knew I had to do something with the background of my father. Mm -hmm. And I realized, okay, this is is who I am. How am I going to blend these styles? Um, so we used like samples in the music. We used. Um, I would say the violin, um, we use some kind of voice uh, things that you can really hear the, the culture elements in it. Percussion is mm -hmm. very is very important to me in music. So just just that little touch up. And when we started creating it, it was very interesting because it was hard to find the blend. How, how am I going to blend these two worlds together? So mm -hmm. we really took three years to to make these songs and to create the right sound for it. And that was just a lot of fun to do that. A lot of fun to try it out. I love yeah. that you have so many musical influences. I love that you're multicultural. Um, and I love that you, you add that, that flavor to your sound. Yeah, you, you know, it, I'm Afri sound. African in my heart. So <laughs> I feel like I dance on stage and I need to implement that in my music. And, uh, you know, it, it just, every time when they play a Moroccan song, it just, I just I light up. So you love to dance? Yes. <laughs> yes. So what are you like on stage? How's your stage presence? Do you dance? Do you dance a lot? Dance a lot. Yeah. Okay. High energy songs? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would say um, 
you know, a belly dance. It's okay. like a mixture of, of, of dancing. <laughs> Keep the crowd hype and going. Yeah, on. yeah. You make them clap and then yeah, dance and yeah. all that. Yeah, but we, I also did like shows where I had like lots of dancers and mm -hmm. a full band. So yeah, it, it really depends on the crowd and the stage that I'm performing at. Okay. So we today we talked about earlier we talked about goals, yes. lofty goals. Yeah. Tell me some of your lofty goals. Well, one of my goals is to stay here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's number one. Uh, I made that decision uh, a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. So home is here now. Um, I just want to establish my music here. Mm -hmm. That's like one of my biggest dreams. And besides back, besides that, I would like to give something back. So I've always had the desire to start a foundation myself. I used to uh, represent um, a refugees organization back home for many years. And ever since I got here, um, you know, I created the album. I always, I knew that I wanted to do something. I just have to find, find out what it is yet, and find my ways. Also, mm -hmm. still here because it takes, takes a little bit of You're time. You're still learning. Adapt. You're still evolving yeah, as an artist, yeah, and as a person. Yeah. So I love that you like enjoy giving back. You know. Yeah, for me, if you, that's everything in life, mm -hmm. and that's where it all starts. And. I, I'm not just making music for myself. Mm -hmm. I hope people that, that people can relate to it and that they, you know, even in rough times, we all have have things that we go through as young girls, yes. insecurities, you know, and I'd like to share that mm -hmm. with, uh, with everybody. And, you know, being on stage and, and after all these years that I've traveled the world, the most fun that I got was the love that I got back from the people. Mm -hmm. So I just can't wait to be uh, be on the on the road again. You're also a prime example to little girls to go after, chase their dreams, and go after what they want in life. You know, I, I hope home. so. I really hope across so. You know, the, across the seas to to be here in the United States to live your dream. I think it's amazing. So keep up the amazing work. Can I get a little preview today before we go? Can you sing a little? Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, let me sing something. I'm single. Oh yeah, I get along sometimes, lost inside her mind. I can't explain all these lonely thoughts in my brain, but I still get lost sometimes. I Keep up the amazing work. I'm a fan. Shadria Brown was a fan of yours, so keep up the great work. I'll Thank continue you. to follow your journey, and you know, if I can, you know, be of a help to help you get across the world. Yay! Uh, to, uh, <laughs> Thank here. you for having me. It means a lot. Continued success on everything. So How can people stay in tune with your journey and what you have going on? Uh, they can follow me on Instagram. Instagram. So that's <laughs> M S Larussi. Larussi as in L A R O U S S I. Same as in Facebook, YouTube, you can find me, Spotify. So, Spotify, uh, yes. she's official. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. You follow her, I'm already following. So stay tuned for more.